Today we are going to look at an air quality management system. The system is designed in Python with a graphical user interface and SQLite database system. In the first screen, chemicals are listed on the left hand list box. When the chemical is clicked, the chemical abstract service number is listed and exposure limits including parts per million and milligrams per cubic meter. There is a fully functional search bar and grouping list box to the right. The first button on the main page takes you to sampling. Clicking on the chemical will give you information on the sampling head, filter type and flow rate. The next page takes you to synonym chemical names. Here you can look up a chemical that may be referenced by a different name. Search box again is included. The definitions page gives you some basic information on chemical types including dust and fume. The next page is used when the air measurement equipment is attached to employees or freestanding. When ready to begin click the first button, which tells you the start and finish time. Once equipment begins to be turned on, you use the next buttons. Up to 10 samples can be recorded. The finishing time is set to 4 hours, which is above the 25% of the normal 8-hour assessment allowed by the HSE. When the time is stopped the duration is shown on the next tab. Once sampling is complete and the results are returned from the laboratory you next use the calculations tab, first search for the well, next input the sampling information, which includes the well information from the search, press calculate and the results on shown on the right hand list box. Next, we look at respiratory protection, this is searchable as well as click on the chemical, filter information as well as odor, boiling point and immediately dangerous to health or life limits are indicated in the right hand box. On the RPE lookup page, the first is definitions, the second is RPE information, this gives you information on classification, work rate, continuous wear time, fit testing and what it is effective against. Next we look at RPE calculations. On this sheet we add the airborne contamination from the air measurements, then you add the well. You then press calculate to get the protection factor. The two drop down boxes are used for what you want the mask to be effective against and the classification of the mask. The classification result tells you what mask to use. The final part of the system is biological information. My name's Serena and thank you for watching.